What I'm going to install is an Oxalam LED lamp and uh, there's a couple of advantages to LED over incandescent bulbs. They instantly come on whereas with an incandescent there's really a slight delay. The other reason I chose this brand, it has a built-in resistor in the lamp itself so you won't get hyper flash and that's when your car system senses that a lamp is burned out it will cause the uh, the turn signal for example to hyper flash flash real quickly and that lets you know that you need to replace a bulb or you'll get an, on your instrumentation panel a notice that you have a lamp burned out so supposedly this brand has it built in I don't have to do anything else just plug it in and go so we'll give it a shot to change any of the lights on the back of the vehicle it's just simply a 10 millimeter socket there are two bolts to take out. Then, if you can see, there's an angled part right here, and it kind of forces this out and over. So, you just kind of give it a little pull and tab, and then it slides right out. Now, this section here, you can push on this tab. That way you can easily get to any of the lights that you want to change. I've already changed the brake light to an LED. I'm very happy with that. Now I'm going to change the flashers. And the reason I'm doing that, there's just been so many instances with people using electronic devices and being distracted, distracted drivers. When I come to a stop, especially on the interstate if I'm traveling, my brake lights will give a quick flash but then sometimes I'll hit my flashers, especially if there's a big truck behind me. I want everything possible to let them know that there's something, uh, traffic is stopping ahead. So, let me put in these new LEDs and we'll see how they work. Here, the style that I bought, it has several illuminating points all around it and then two in the center with a magnifying lens. I've already put the brake lights in and tail lights, these two. Now I'm going to exchange this amber turn signal and uh, flasher, emergency flashers. And you, know, you just turn this counterclockwise, pops right out. The other thing I was going to mention this the replacement bulb for the Forester on my model is a bulb number 744. So this should just pop right out, which it did. These should match, which they do. I'm going to put just a little bit of dielectric grease on the contact points. This will just help keep moisture out and give a good electrical connection. And this style, supposedly you can plug in either direction, so we'll see. Sometimes they won't operate if they're not plugged in right, but this one, supposedly you can plug in either direction and it'll work fine. You just find the location where that snaps in, and quarter of a turn clockwise, and we're good to go. Putting everything back together is simple. Also, you just need to reconnect your electrical connection, and that just slides in there, and you'll hear it snap. The next part, there is a shoe back here. Let me show you that. Place right back here that has to fit inside this little round slide. It's kind of like a horseshoe effect. So once you get that in place, that's good. Now I'm right back in my original position. Here's that slide. It's going to guide it in. Once that shoe is in place on the front, now it just pops right in. We're just going to put the two bolts back in place. You're just going to want to make these snug. Again, you're dealing with plastic, so you don't need to torque it real tight. Just want to make contact and then just a little bit more. 
and that'll hold that in place. Okay, here I am inside the car. There's no indication of hyper flash, so that function of that new lamp is working great. It is a dramatic difference. The bulb on the right is the original. The bulb on the left is the new LED. The other dramatic difference is because there are lights all around the LED, it's also very intense from the side. So if someone was coming at the side of your vehicle, it can also, it's very bright. The next example is the reflection off the garage door. The flashing light on the right is the LED. On the left is the standard bulb that came with it, which you really hardly even notice. You can actually also see the delay that the incandescent bulb has, whereas the LED lights up immediately. Very impressed for safety, especially with the amount of distracted drivers there are on the highways in today's world. Not only on the highways, all around town.